Oil spill in the marine environment affects on humans. Environmental experts said all the oil spill could have a long-lasting impact on marine life, even to the extent of causing irreparable damage. Fisher folk were already complaining on Sunday about finding a lot of dead fish in the sea and being unable to go fishing. After an oil spill in the marine environment, a number of actions must be considered regarding the safety of seafood from the affected location. Each spill is a unique combination of conditions and events. Seafood is only at risk of contamination from a spill if it is exposed to the oil. Once exposed to oil, an organism becomes contaminated only to the extent that it takes up and retains petroleum compounds. Oil spills are dynamic, conditions should be monitored and risks to seafood must be re-evaluated until the threat abates. Determining whether seafood has been contaminated can take substantial time. Developing and implementing sampling plans, conducting sensory and or chemical testing, and evaluating results may require weeks or longer. Monitoring continues and the risk assessment process is repeated as necessary. It is determined that seafood is tainted or is contaminated to a level posing a potential health risk. While fin fish are unlikely to become contaminated or tainted because they typically are either not exposed or are exposed only briefly to the spilled oil and because they rapidly eliminate petroleum compounds taken up. If nearshore sediments are contaminated, species that spawn in nearshore and shallow waters are more likely to be exposed to spilled oil than pelagic and benthic species. Shellfish are more likely than finfish to become contaminated from spilled oil because they are more vulnerable to exposure and less efficient at metabolizing petroleum compounds once exposed. Shellfish are generally less mobile and have more contact with sediments, which can become contaminated and serve as a long-term source of exposure. The main oil spill effects on humans are synthesized below. A variety of health effects from minor illnesses to serious conditions possibly including cancers. Direct exposure to oil spill. A variety of health effects may develop when the oil spill occurs close to where people live or work and may come in contact with humans through breathing gaseous oil compounds and or oil compounds adsorbed on particulate matter, dispersed through air. Another exposure pathway may relate to activities in contaminated ground, for example, soil, or through skin adsorption when touching spilled material. Indirect exposure through consumption of contaminated food or water, especially relevant in the case of consumption of fish that was in contact or in an oil spill polluted environment. This is because some oil components have ability to bioaccumulate in living organisms. This means that if a fish lives in a polluted environment, it will keep adsorbing in its body some oil components, without excretion, which may reach concentrations several orders of magnitude higher than those of the surrounding waters. Through consumption of such polluted fish meat. Humans may become seriously exposed to higher concentrations of oil components than in the surrounding environment or as compared to ingestion of the polluted water or bathing in the polluted water.